I'll give you an example. For uh, The other day I was talking to somebody who was looking to find out if there was a man in her life that was really supposed to be for her. She's in a relationship with a man and she already knows in her heart, okay, that she's not supposed to be with this person. And I know that she knows it because she told me that she does not believe that this man is meant to be with her. He does not lead her closer to Christ, okay? But she continues to come back week after week saying, I'm still waiting for God to give me an answer. God is not talking to me. God is not telling me what I need to do. Maybe I need to start a fast. Maybe I need to start another fast. Maybe I need to pray harder. And I said, do you realize that God has already given you your answer? She said, no, he has. And I've been asking. I said, you got your answer when you said that this man does not lead you closer to Christ. God gave you an answer. God speaks to us. He does not conceal the truth from his people. Okay. The problem is, and she even told me this herself. She said, I'm looking for God to tell me that this man is my husband. I said, so you've already decided in your heart what answer you want from God, which is causing you to ignore the truth. And this is what happens. And so when we don't like the answer that God gave us, we start scattering around for everyone else to give us another answer. Hey, prophetess. Hey, prophet. Can you give me a word? I have a situation. What do you think about this? And then we start giving them backstories that lead them to give us answers that we want them to have to give us. Hey, prophet. I have a boyfriend. Me and him really like each other. And, you know, we really get along, so on and so forth. So what do you think? Are we supposed to be together? Is this man my husband? And then the, the prophet, which we as we see that is it entirely possible for these prophets to have lying spirits on them, right? Because if you have ignored God's word time and time and time again, then yes, the enemy will send you to somebody to deceive you and mislead you, okay? These, these, these prophets may have lying spirits on them and tell you, yes, my sister, that is your husband. Yes, the Lord is showing me a vision right now. Yeah, I saw you in a wedding dress and I saw you guys walking down the aisle together. Why? Because you just led this prophet or prophetess, right, into believing this vision. And they may be in agreement with it, okay, because you're leading, you're leading, and you're looking for this answer. And you won't stop looking until you get the answer you want. And then as soon as you get that word from that prophet, then you're like, yes, Lord, I, heard, I finally heard from you. I finally got the answer. Because we discard all the answers that God gives us. And then when we finally get the one we want, then we grab it. Yes, God said, this is my husband. And then you end up marrying this man that you were never supposed to marry. You end up miserable with this man. And then you blame God when you're in a miserable marriage. And then you say, God, I thought you chose this man for me. How come you didn't speak to me sooner? Right? How come you didn't speak to me sooner? And then you start blaming God for your problems, right? Or you start blaming the devil. Oh, the devil changed my husband. He was a different man when I met him. Nope, he was the same man from the beginning. But you rebelled against God. You ignored his warnings. You didn't take heed to his voice. You jumped over his word, his command. And then you went to a false prophet who gave you the word that you wanted to hear because that's what you wanted to do from the beginning. And you weren't really looking for God's approval now, were you? You really weren't. You were looking for somebody to itch your ears, to feed your itching ears, right? Amen.